Good morning, I'm Paige, and welcome to WBC Announcements. And I'm Dylan. Have a good day. Mr. Booker, our counselor and test coordinator, has some important words to talk to us about testing. Let's all listen. Good morning, Mayor Stewart, staff and students. Today, we're gonna to give you a few helpful hints because we know next week is a busy time here at Bear with ACAP testing and all. So we're gearing up and I have a few tips I wanna give you this morning before we get our day started. The first thing that um, I want to talk to you today about is getting plenty of sleep next week. The night before the test, you wanna make sure that you get you at least six to eight hours of good rest. Um, of course, we wanna eat a good breakfast the morning of, so let's make sure we're here and let's try to be on time that morning. Make sure we encourage our parents to have us at school on time, ready to go on that day. Um, put everything else out of your mind and think only of doing your best on this particular test. Uh, we wanna to try to dress comfortably, so if you need to wear a little jacket, you can wear your jacket in the morning. If you get a little cool in some of those classrooms, you can always take it off if you get hot. But if without it, you need to make sure you try to bring it the morning of. And if you wear glasses like Mr. Booker, don't forget your glasses, but bring your glasses because you will need them most definitely as you take this particular test. Now, in terms of the test itself, we want to read all of the test directions, okay? Understand what you're supposed to do. And if you have questions, we're going to do what? Raise our hand. Not after the test begin, but before if, we're, if we have any questions and your teachers will help you to the best of their ability, okay? Read all questions carefully and all of your answer choices and be sure um, to answer the questions on the corresponding test question answer. Make sure they're the same. And that means if you're testing uh, reading number four, you wanna make sure your answer choice is for number four, not three or five. Now, this test is time. However, you do not have to rush. You'll have plenty of time. So make sure you work at a good, consistent, constant pace and try not to hurry. Now, if you get stuck on any one question, you don't wanna to spend too much time on it because this is a time test and your time will run out. So if you run across one you don't know, then just take your best guess and move on. Look guys, I'm looking forward to having a great day of testing and a great week of testing with you guys next week. We're gonna test Monday and Tuesday. That's grades two through fifth. And for um, fourth grade, we're gonna test three days. We're gonna test Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So looking forward to you guys. I know you guys are doing a great job. You've been working real hard on the practice test. So let's get her done. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and pause for a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would shake, rattle, and roll, or boogie on down, and, and get, get your groove on for learning.